Hi, it's Lin Kuo here. Thanks for visiting my channel. This is the place to be if you like classical violin performances and violin tutorials. Although this video is going to be different from my regular content, this is actually a tutorial on how to make a split screen music video with high quality sound. As a classical musician, I have a lot of friends who have asked me how I made my split screen video with me playing violin and the piano. So I thought I would make a quick tutorial to show the process of what I did using iMovie and using various devices for audio recording as well as video. In this video, I will show a split screen. In the next video, I will show how to do multi-screen, so having more than two players, so up to three, four, five, six, as many as you like. And in the third video, I will show you a new app that I discovered called Dolby On. It's a recording app that you can download both on Apple and Android, and it promises to deliver the trademark Dolby quality sound. And you can add filters, you can noise reduce, and you can share the file really easily. Um, I may look a little strange because I'm in my karate gi. We had an online training. As you know, it's the time of COVID-19 and everything's moved online. So I'm in the comfort of my home and in the comfort of my gi. Well, that's the way it is now, isn't it? We're all online. So are you ready for this video? You want to get started? Let's go. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is record your first track or have your other friend or whomever you're trying to make this split screen video record the track first for you to record your second track or vice versa. Choose which one is going to record the first track and they are going to be your guide track and you will use that guide track and put it in your ear. Okay, so this is how I did my video. I filmed it on a Canon EOS 7D on a tripod. I set it up, set up the, the video and also set up an audio recorder at the same time. Now I used a Zoom audio recorder, a Zoom H4n. And you will also need a mini, um, USB to mini USB cable like this. Okay. So you're going to need this as well to connect the camera to your computer to get the video files onto your computer. So very important. If you do not have a Zoom audio recorder like me, I had to borrow one and the one that I have is not with me because this is pandemic and I can't access some of my stuff. You can simply use your smartphone. And again, in the third video, I will show you how you can use Dolby on app on your phone to get high quality sound without having to buy an external microphone for your smartphone. In fact, I'm recording this part of the video on Dolby on app on my smartphone. So you set up your tripod, get the video ready, frame it how you like, and you will play the first track. Now you're going to set, set the, the audio recorder as well. You can attach the zoom, audio recorder directly to your computer and recording directly into Audacity or GarageBand. This is what I did. So you have the option of taking the high quality audio from the Zoom and marrying it with the video or not. In fact, I just used the audio from the, the DSLR camera. It was good enough for me. So you have the two set up and then you are going to press record on the video and press record on the audio. This is the most important thing to sync up these files. It's a really, really good idea to clap and then wait a few seconds and then start recording. Now record as many takes as you like to get the take that you are really happy with. And we know classical musicians are really perfectionist. So this might take a while. So after that first track is done, you're going to send that track to your partner or vice versa. And you are going to use that second track as a guide. So you have to get that track onto a device that you can feed into headphones, whether it's wireless or with wires, you just need to get this into your phone so that you can play along. Now you won't be able to see in my music video, but I did have headphones. I just kind of hid it behind my shoulder with the smartphone in my back pocket. Clever, right? So you can do that and you will record listening to the, the other track and record as many times as you like, repeating the same process. You got your video camera on a tripod and you're recording audio at the same time, or you can just simply use the, the video. And again, you can use Dolby On to record video with high quality sound. The next step after you've recorded a second track that you are like is to get it from your device onto your computer and into your video editing app. Okay, on to the next step. Okay, so the file is now airdropped into the computer. We're now going to open up 
the video editor, in this case it's iMovie, I'm going to create a new project. There we go. Okay, so it has some footage that I've already input. So if we want to get that footage, we can go to import media. But I'll tell you why I don't like doing it this way. I find this very cumbersome to look for files in this in this software. So I'm going to show you the easier way, which is in Finder, and it's it would be under Downloads and Let's Dead. So the easy way to import this media is to simply drag it in to the to the media library. So there it is. So that's the footage, let's say, that I put on my phone with Dolby on and then put into my computer via AirDrop. So this is an example of some other takes that I did of the other part that I want to use for this multi-screen, actually double, a split screen video. So let's say I choose this part here. So that's the first thing I want to choose. Let's say this is my final take. And let's say, let's pretend this is a really short video. Let's say it's one minute long. And let's make it shorter. So I'm going to zoom this in. So Command plus, so I can zoom in to see better. Command plus. Okay, so if we take a look here, the sound is clipping on the yellow. So you can see how it's going to go too loud. So I'm going to just drag this so that it doesn't have any more yellow there. And quite clearly, we don't want this orientation. So what I do, I've clicked it to highlight it. I go up to here, which is cropping, as you can see. And to the right here, we can rotate counterclockwise and clockwise. So I'm going to rotate there. So clearly we want to make a split screen. I want to add the second musician, uh, me. So this is the footage that I want to add. Now, what we're going to do is, this is a landscape orientation. This here is portrait orientation. So this is going to become a problem putting this together. So what I'm going to do is crop this footage so that it looks a bit more like this shape so that I can pair them side by side. Now, I've discovered that you cannot do any cropping if you drag this down to the timeline. You must do the cropping while it's in the media library. So what I do is I go over here, there. This is cropping, and then I click crop the clip. And now I can simply just create the shape that I want. So I am going to make it more vertical. Let's say I move it to about there. And I press the blue check. Okay, so let's work with that. Pretend that's what I want. So now that it's, oh wait, why is it like that? Let me try that again. Crop. Let's try it again. Okay, hopefully that will work. Okay, oh, it looks like she moves around a lot. Mm. Ah, okay, let's try that again. Uh, crop, move. Why does it keep moving? Okay, let's try that. So let's try it by dragging that in. Let's see. Let's find this window. Okay, drag in. Ah, okay. So, well, first of all, I want to get rid of some of this excess footage here. So I can see by scrubbing through that there's too much here. So maybe what I'll do is I'll chop it off about there. So I just click so that playhead is about there, right click, select split clip, and now this is highlighted in yellow and I simply either hit delete on my keyboard or right click it and hit delete. Now I can drag this clip over and now I'm just taking a look at the audio and I can see there's still some yellow showing so I'm going to just adjust that volume easily by doing that until I see no more yellow. There. So let's see how that sounds. So right now, I only see the top footage, um, and I hear the bottom footage. So let's, well, I need to actually trim this one first. So let me just trim this one first. So again, where I find where this clip starts, give myself some room for error, split the clip, delete this part of the clip, drag this over. Okay, let's take a look. We need to see the footage side by side. Now, this is where we do split screen. Now that you have the footage, the second footage on top, this option up here, video overlay settings appears. If you do not have the second footage in the timeline, you will not see the video overlay settings. So now that we have the second footage in the timeline, we're going to click on this and we see that there's different options we have. Cutaway, 
green, blue screen, but what I want is split screen. There. Pretty fast and easy. Now, if you, if you want, you can tinker around with it, move it to the right. You can move it to the top, you can move it to the bottom. But I like the way it looks, so I will leave it on the left. Uh, I guess you can see a hole here on the side, but that's okay. I'm okay with that for now. If you don't like this, I'm sure we can do something with that. So we can crop it again, or uncrop it, recrop it. But so I want to extend it a little bit. And save it there. And that there. Okay. Now go back. Get that done. Okay. So. Oh. Alright, so now is the time to be patient and sync. Oh, I still see some volume issues. Let me adjust the volume. Do I see no more yellow? Okay, so if I go back to the beginning here. Okay, the pianist is very late. So I'm going to trim. Wait, this is always a problem. Uh, trim. Trim, trim, trim. How do we do this? Just a second. Ah, it's very close. Uh, let me check that again. So this is where you have to be very patient. I'm going to zoom in by doing Command Plus. Let me just take a look here. Okay, so the pianist is early. So if the pianist is early, then I want to add a little bit of footage. Still early, so I'm gonna shift. I'm gonna shift the top footage over. Okay, it's pretty close, very close. So let me just zoom in more, and I'm just gonna do micro adjustments. Let's do just a tiny adjustment. Move the top footage over. Okay. Okay, I think that's pretty close. So for the purposes of this video for a split screen, just two players, I think we're pretty much done. So you can play around with this after you can do color correction. Uh, you can do all sorts of fun things, but let's just keep it simple. And, oh, filters. Let's keep it simple and let's go to share. So this is where you are going to export your file. You go to file. For the purposes of YouTube, you probably want to go to 720p, and I usually go for high. Best is not necessary. That will be a very large file. And you, let's say, it, well, we can do better quality, but for now, let's do, let's, okay, let's call this test. Okay, and then we'll call this test, and then we do that. We'll put it on the desktop. Call this test as well. And you will see here, in the circle here, I don't know why it's hidden so far over here, but that's where it's going to tell you when it's done. So this is where you be patient. And we're back. I held my breath through that. Okay, now we're done. Look, it's done. So we click show. There we go. Double click. And it is ready to play. Pretty easy. Okay, so that's how you do a split screen music video. If I left any details out, I apologize. Please write in the comments and ask your questions or share with me your video editing tips. I'm still learning a lot of tricks, so I'm sure lots of you out there already know some things that I don't. So be sure to send some comments to me. I always like reading them. And if this was helpful, you know what to do. Please like the video. Thank you so much. And if you want to see more videos, if you want to see the next video in the series, I'm going to be doing a multi-screen video tutorial. And in the third video, I'm going to be doing the Dolby On review and demo. So click subscribe, and that way you'll know when the next videos come out. Okay, thanks. This is Lin Kuo. Thank you so much. To the next video. Bye.